Okay, guys, I hope I can string all this editing together. I just wanted to mention on the last video when I talked about the uh, valve seals, because I didn't make it obvious, when I said you could, you know, help them by making a tool like this, remember, don't, you know, be gentle. Don't go gouging. Don't go gouging underneath the valve seal either. You know, when I did it, I just was gently pulling up on the steel, not gouging, you know, don't gouge downward into the aluminum like that. Because that's, you know, one oil seeping through there either. So I didn't make that obvious last time. And some of you guys might say, no, don't do that. You're going to gouge it up. Well, since I didn't mention it, I'm telling you now on the video right before this one, or the segment before this one, yeah, don't don't be too rough with that thing. It's just a gentle prying till, till it comes up, okay? But this segment of the video is really aimed at um, these filthy intake ports, which is very common nowadays um, on engines like this with direct injection. Let's see if we can get some light in there. Um, as you can see, you know, just terrible, you know? Um, one of my sons worked at Lexus, uh, and they had a whole campaign on this issue, and they used, um, they used like a shop vac and walnut blasting material, uh, you know, to clean them out and shop vac it out at the same time. Uh, that's probably great if you have that. I wish I had it, but I'm just going to go old school. You know, my old friend Manuel Labor here, and just scrape all that junk out. You know, a little bit of wire brush action, brake clean. I'm uh, really more concerned with, um, you know, closely inspecting these uh, valve guides. Uh, especially the one over here where I had this one marked with an X. Because that's the one that had a really bad bent valve. And I'm going to make sure it didn't crack or deform or damage any, any part of that uh, valve guide. Because if it did, it would have to go uh, to a machine shop for that, you know. But um, just wanted to show, you know, I mean, obviously, I know yours are going to look the same way. Um, you know, I think just cleaning them out manually is fine. They're, they're going to be like that soon enough anyway. So <laughs> don't want to kill yourself uh, cleaning them out too perfectly. Just enough to make you, uh, to, you know, let you get a good inspection, uh, you know, of the... Uh, what's going on in there and of course when we get to the uh the valve lapping we're going to look you know we're going to look at the pitting and, and anything about the uh valve seats if there's any problems we'll uh, we'll address that as we go along okay guys catch you in a few